Welcome back. Uh, Danny Shalaw, personal stylist and image consultant, is here with us on set to give you the help to actually open up your mind to think about something you already have that can make a difference and what your smile might be saying about you. Exactly. Is, is it yeah. that big of a deal? Do a lot of us, I mean, this is your job. This is what you do right. to help people. Yeah. What well, Valentine's Day is coming up. This is an easy, low cost, low calorie way to say, <laughs> no calorie. hey, I care <laughs> about you. Yes. And, and it just can brighten somebody's day. Or it can make them think, scary, stranger danger, let's get yeah. away from that person. What, what, I've heard that saying before, smile, it makes people wonder what you're thinking about, mm -hmm. right? Is that yeah. is that still a good adage to use? Yeah, and it can te definitely tell a story about you. Okay. So your smile is saying something It's kind of like the headlights of a car. They see that first before they actually show you when you're smiling. Mm -hmm. They see that first, mm -hmm. right? Is that a yeah, good way? Yeah, what we communicate before we say a word is huge. It's 50% of what you're communicating is your body language and okay. your physical appearance. Well, we so. have some smiles that you may have probably seen if you watch movies and things like that. So let's... Uh, take a guess. Uh, I, you know what? I see the mole, and I, I'm thinking of someone. <laughs> yeah. What does this smile tell us about? It's Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. Now that is a dropped jaw smile, mm -hmm. and um, it's a very rehearsed smile. And it looks like she's enjoying herself, but she's most likely faking it. <laughs> Posing for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Posing for the camera. Yeah. Yep. Right? And we see that in Instagram all the time. Okay. Ooh, oh. I don't know. This is a harder one to guess. Who's yes. that? I don't see any marks. Like the mole gave it away from me. Uh -huh. I don't. Oh, wow. There she is, Barbara Streisand. And she's got a tight lipped smile. Yeah. And so that is communicating I have a secret or I've got an opinion that I'm not ready to tell you about. I'm more of a private person? Yeah, yeah, or I'm withholding something from okay. you. Okay. Again, this man, this is not as iconic as I've, I'm sure. I'm sure. Once it's you a, see the big picture, you'll yeah recognize it. Princess Diana. Oh wow! Now this is a sideways looking up smile. It's a little bit demure, slightly coy, and so she's got her head turned and she's looking up slightly, and she is engendering feelings of like I want a man to take care of me. Okay. It's been iconic for her, and she captured the world with this smi iconic smile. Where were you when I was dating? Because I did not <laughs> I know, pick right? up on any of those <laughs> those nonverbal cues. I'm like, is she smiling at me? But all right, this. Can you give us some hints? Like, don't give me the name, but what what is this person known for? Maybe sarcasm. I can sarcasm. So, uh, Will Ferrell. Um, is it Will Ferrell? Close. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Now that is a twisted smile. Uh, and he's it got this deviant. Look at his eyes. Right? <laughs> and that's the thing about a smile. The eyes have got to repeat the smile to know if it's authentic or not. Oh my gosh. I know. Interesting, Ooh. right? You can get this one. Uh, Madonna? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that lipstick. It's bright, iconic 80s pink. And it's getting attention. She wants attention on her lips. She's got this parted, slightly open smile that is, you know, kind of mm -hmm. interesting. Same as this one. I can't, I don't even have a, I'm going to go with uh, Gwendolyn, Gwyneth Paltrow. I, Taylor Swift. Okay, that was my next guest. And that's her <laughs> signature. <laughs> now, this could be perceived as a smile where you're supposed to smile, but you're just not really feeling like it. It's a when half smile. Yeah, your lips are parted. Jim Carrey. Oh, Is it Jim Carrey? No? Think the Shining. The sh oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Now look, yes. his, it, this is a mouth open smile. This is something chimpanzees do when they are angry. Mm -hmm. So it can be perceived as an angry smile. Like maybe somebody caught him in a moment, said something to him, and that's what he flashed? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. She doesn't have a lot of indentation on she, her lips, okay. which is a little bit of a giveaway. Not share. <laughs> <laughs> That's not I love her smile. Julia Roberts. Oh, I saw this. We saw this first smile. Yeah. And look at and look at how her eyes are smiling also. So you can tell, yes, that is an authentic okay. smile. I know we're, we're at the end of our segment, but what about the guy in the back? What does that smile tell you? It's hard to He looks pretty <laughs> happy. It's I hard know. to see his but eyes, that's what I'm saying. You can't see the eyes. The eyes and mm -hmm. the smile have to go. Yep. Uh, they coincide with one another. Exactly. Another. And that's All the right. thing with Jack Nicholson. You know, he's like chopping down the door in The Shining, and he's got this angry yeah. smile. <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs>
right? You want your smile to be Julia Roberts, not I want to chop your head off with an axe. Yeah. <laughs> now, you are an image consultant. There could be a lot of people out there that need help with your image consultant. The, Im the information's on the bottom of the screen. Yep. We'll just put a link on the website to make it easy. Thank you very yep. much. Thanks, Danny. Yep. Fox13now.com. Click on the place. I love it.